In some high risk environments, you may need to protect your face and airway with an advanced mask. The CBRN or Chemical, Biological, Radioactive and Nuclear Mask is a full face mask that straps to your head to give you a comprehensive protection against a wide variety of airborne substances. With these masks, there are different filters you can use and you can either add one or two filters. Adding a second filter will make breathing easier when wearing the mask. It's important that you use a filter that's correct for the level of protection of the hazard you're exposed to. There are different filters with the same thread and they connect to the mask for full protection or you can have something that just protects in a smoky environment. With the filter, once you are using the right one, remove the cap and carefully screw it into the mask. You have to remove the sealing cap from the mask. Do not over tighten the filters as you may damage the threads and therefore the effectiveness of the mask which can put the user at risk. Then remove the cap on the other side of the filter to allow the air into the filter. The mask has a transparent shield which you need to keep safe to avoid getting scratches which will obscure the view or even puncture it and allow unfiltered air into the mask. Inside the mask is a piece that goes over your mouth and nose to direct clean air in and exhaled air out. Enclosing the nose and mouth also helps avoid the screen misting up. Inside this mouth and nose section, you'll find a drinks tube if it's fitted. This allows you to suck up fluids while still wearing the mask. You can connect a special water bottle by unclipping the tube from the side of the mask. The tube simply pushes into the bottle to perform a seal. The straps on the back are fully adjustable to make sure the mask sits correctly on the face with no unfiltered air being allowed in. To fit the mask, place the mask over your face and position the straps on the back of your head in the correct positions. Carefully tighten the strap, keeping the mask in place on the face. Check the manufacturer's instructions to tighten in the order that's recommended. Ensure there is no hair or clothing under the seal of your face. The mask may not seal as well with excessive facial hair. Check the fit of the mask and that you can breathe correctly. Note the time you started using the mask and fit a second filter if required. Finally, with any mask you use, you must follow the manufacturer's instructions as masks may be slightly different.